Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is China Zaz Life. I just want to take the time to highlight what's going on in my home country of Nigeria right now. So there's a division of the police over there called SARS, which is standing for the Special Anti-Robbery Squad. And initially this initiative was put into place to stop armed robbers from harming civilians. However, it's been brought to kind of global attention and my attention as well that they've basically been harassing young people, extorting them for their money and basically just detaining them for no reason other than the fact that it looks like they have money, it looks like they have some form of wealth, whether it be a nice car or dreadlocks or dyed hair or an iPhone or different things like that. And it's even gone as far as them hurting people or even going as far as them unfortunately killing some people. And the biggest issue in this all is that there's no action being taken against them. They've been doing this for years and years and it's just gotten to the point where the youth and the people were all just, you know, fed up and protests have started over there. And for the latest update, I know that as of October 11th that SARS has been disbanded. However, there's not really like a plan of action as for like what's going to happen from here because they've basically just said that those officers are now going to be in different divisions, but it's just kind of like you can't just, you know, put them in different places. How are you going to stop the corruption? How are you going to stop the bribes? How are you going to stop the profiling? So that's why people are still continuing to raise awareness, still continuing to protest and still continuing to make this a global issue because especially as Nigerians in the diaspora, whether you be in America or England or literally anywhere in the world, I think in just using your voice and amplifying what's going on over there is putting that pressure on and keeping the pressure on. There's a bunch of protests going on in different cities. I've seen some in Houston, some in the DMV, some again in London and different places like that. But even if your city is not having an anti-SARS protest or you know different things like that, you can definitely still use your voice on social media to raise awareness. And just by simply searching up the hashtag, you'll be able to not only stay updated, but you'll also be able to see where you can donate to, whether that be for food, for people who are gonna be attending the protests, or whether it be for the medical costs for people who have been hurt in the protests. So guys, please keep Nigeria in your prayers, especially for those who are going to be on those front lines going day in and day out to basically protest for their human rights. In today's video, I'll be mixing in some pieces that are both old and some that are newer in my closet and basically just showing you the possibilities of how you can style items that you probably already have. So if you're interested in seeing what outfits I came up with, definitely make sure to stay tuned. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So for look number one, we have this cute brown sweater paired with some white jeans as well as some white booties. And listen y'all, I will wear white regardless of the season. I personally think that it still looks good in the fall. And as you can see here, I paired it with this bag. Cause you know, I don't want it to be too matchy matchy. So I didn't want it to be a white bag or the same color as the sweater. And if you're going for a more dressy look, I feel like adding in a piece like this hat will do just that trick for you. Next up, I'll be styling this all black outfit in three different ways, just kind of showing you guys how versatile having pieces like this top and these pants can be. For my first pairing, I'll be going ahead with this multicolored Ruana, which I feel like is an essential for your closet this fall. Like seriously, it can be worn in so many ways with so many different outfits. Next up, we have the classic all black fit. And when I say classic, like you cannot go wrong with wearing all black. I feel like adding a different texture, being that this is leather, adds some more dimension to the outfit, even though you're still wearing all black. For a more casual yet still dressy look, I went ahead and paired this outfit with this tan jacket, as well as with my Vans, just to keep it kind of streetwear chic. Next up, we have this more casual, relaxed fit pairing some jeans with booties and a cute oversized sweater. I think that this low cute clutch goes perfectly with this outfit as well. To style this fit on a colder day, you can go ahead and pair this outfit with a long tan jacket, such as this one, just to add some color as well as with a cute little beret that matches. So y'all know fall is the perfect time for a mini skirt and some knee high boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you two looks that I styled with these. I first went ahead and paired this with a nice white blazer and this cute little red bag just to add some color in. And I feel like this is a perfect chic going out to brunch type look. Next up, I went ahead and paired this tan long line coat with the outfit, which I feel like just gives such a classic feel, such a classic fit, and is honestly one of my go-tos for wearing all black. For my next styling, we have this cozy yet chic look, pairing this cream cardigan with my white jeans and white booties yet again. 
Next up, we have this classic pairing of a jean mini skirt with an all black ensemble to go along with it. And for an alternative look, we are ditching the hat for this Ruana scarf yet again, but I feel like with this skirt combo, it looks so, so cute. For my last look, I went for a street chic style pairing these straight leg jeans over with a nice white blazer as well as with my white booties. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned with me up until this point. I hope that you were able to enjoy and just to see just how many fits you probably already have in your closet and how you're able to, you know, just combine simple things, whether it be a turtleneck or a cardigan or a pair of jeans and literally see how many outfits you can create just from that one piece. If you guys have any questions about any of the items or just anything in general related to this video, definitely make sure to drop it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, y'all, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, it's not too late. You can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also guys make sure to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified when I am posting a new video. If you're not yet following me over on Instagram, again, I say this all the time, but guys, like literally you'll see the exclusive behind the scenes content. But then even on top of that, I'm more active on my reels now as well, especially when it comes to styling. So definitely make sure to check out my latest reels over on Instagram and you can find me over there at Chinaza's Life. Also, speaking of reels, you know, the little competition, TikTok or whatever, I'm basically repurposing my content and putting it out over there too. So if you're on TikTok, make sure to give me a follow over there as well at Chinaza's Life. And if you'd like, I'm also over on Twitter at Chinaza's Lens. And let me just... <clears throat> and that's all I got for today, y'all. That's all I got for today, y'all. So again, y'all, thank you for staying tuned. I hope you stay blessed, stay prayed up, and I will see y'all back for my next one.